I told myself I'd never venture into this playlist alone ever again, but I couldn't help myself. I'm sure glad I did though, because these threes games were some of the most eventful matches I've had in a while. I ran into the Rocket League potato streamer, yeah, this guy, and had a wide variety of teammates and long overtimes. Let's put on our big boy pants and take on the ranked jungle. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, game number one, we got Droki or Dwoki and next. I don't want to say that guy's name. I'm going to cheat up here. I haven't seen that AJ-16 guy in a long time either. I'm going to get demoed here, but should be all right. Good challenge. Wait for this guy to go. Pop it over these two. See if Vince turns on this. I played against Vince, so isn't this like a... He's a potato streamer. <laughs> that probably sounds really confusing if you don't know who it is. I'm going to fake this, actually. It's over two. Over technically three. Um, he does like uh, streams with like a potato camera thing. I'm gonna fake this guy to be a block and it's in nice yeah this guy like streams with, like a potato filter thing i don't I'm not really sure how it works but pretty good first goal here we got jelly trying to go for the early challenge and vince fell off the backboard there really tough position once the dunk comes through especially because it's hard to read but it's interesting to play threes after not playing it for so long i know you guys have like some people have been asking for me to do threes um we're not quite ssl in it because i've like barely not even played uh enough games I just got the 3v3 rank and then played a little bit on stream. This man is being toxic to the other, the other team. <laughs> what is happening? It's just Vince left. Big 50s. Teammate's already right on the wall. I see this touch. I'm trying to pop this to the wall and then follow it immediately. But Vince is ready for it. Good dunk as well. I don't want to waste uh, any boost here. I'm grab the mid boost. Good challenge. It's going to be AJ to pop it forward. Ends up throwing it away though, so Dwoki should be there. A turn from next. Could have been a play. Good block as well. I kind of read where he was going with that. I, I know that a lot of players like to ship those really, really hard and fall off the, uh, off the sidewall. But if you can read the touch early, um, you should be good. I'm going to go left here to make sure he has to clear right. If I go uh, right there, he's going to clear it in the midfield. It's much easier to block a situation. Oh my god, they all missed. To be Dwoki on the wall here. Oh, I thought maybe Vince would have turned after the mid boost because he did grab that um, that boost there. Okay, I don't think he's gonna have a double here, so I'm just gonna wait for the next shot. It's off. XD is going. What is he doing? I feel like I'm in like a jungle or something. <laughs> Good block. Yeah, I don't want to hit that because it's just gonna go into mid. I'm gonna be honest, I've been kind of autopiloting for the last like a little bit. good clear but to nobody there so someone should get it looks like Dwoki's gonna be there nice clear watch for Vince's redirect to mid so Jelly cuts him off instead of going for the shot the direct shot this might be a goal here uh I guess it was a pass <laughs> uh I'm, I'm not sure what happened there with um with next city and Dwoki but Dwoki's in the back corner I can't say that guy's name anymore I'm gonna call him I don't know it's not going to call him anything. Oh, so it's not Nexity. It's a different Nex. All right, I'm going to sit behind my teammate here. So he's just throwing it to the backboard. It's been a lot of um, spectating on my end, I, I would say. Try to block him there. Go for the, the second follow-up touch. Pop it up off the backboard. I do not have a direct shot there because if I go for a direct shot, um, they're probably... Oh my gosh, everyone's missing. Um, they probably will save it. AJ-16 is going to beat me here, so I'm just going to wait. He missed. Should be next city's clear. Or not, I keep calling him next city, but it's not next city, apparently. But I think well, he's missing. Should be my team on the backboard. No need to panic. Should be able to trust him in net there. And it's right down to the ground. So pretty good first game. I wouldn't say I did too much there. I was kind of just, you know, the middle ground, the middleman. Uh, most of the time I was on defense. That's pretty common at this rank. Um, but it worked out. Next he just wanted to, you know, take over. And I don't mind that as well. Dwoki actually played pretty decently, even though he has like only 124 points. But I feel like he did play his positions pretty well. So let's get into the next game. See how it goes. Hopefully we can start climbing towards SSL and get the final SSL rank. I guess I got, did he say I guess I got a list? Okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why he's being rude. 
So, a lot of pros do not play rank 3s anymore, and it is quite a wild ride, and as you can see in the, the first game, I, I ended up doing a lot of, like, just 180s and, and sort of circles around the net and stuff, and that's just, like, sort of the nature of this game mode. Don't, um, you know, make changes to, like, obviously you want to adapt around your team, and that's not what I'm trying to say is not to play around your team, but don't make changes to your overall core gameplay just based on, like, what people are doing on the other team. Um, or uh, on your team, like still make good decisions, play to what you assume would be would be good, um, but at the same time respect what you know your team's doing, even if they do stuff like that where um, they just put me in really weird situations and I'm dead. Like where I'm, I'm thinking the ball's coming to me and then he wants to cut it like this, like that would have uh, fed right to me perfectly, but instead he slows the ball down instead of trying to you know let the let the play come to me. And I got really confused because I got stuck in the back corner, but, you know, it happens. I'm going to go back left here. Like, sometimes I just got to know not to touch the ball when there's free space. So that was first man on their team. Um, meanwhile, it's th second or third man for our team. So you got to make change. You got to make changes and, and choices based on, um, like, the positions of the players. Should I leave that for a shot? Close. I'll leave that. He's going to turn on it. Oh, I'm dead again. So still, I want to go backboard here. Should have beat him. Um, even even though they're like my teammates forward, I know that's gonna be a play down towards our net. Teammate wants to get it. Good save. So I'm just gonna be the one to save the boost, and be smart and and conserve. Play that defensive role again. Block two of them. Do my teammate. Good follow up. Try to bump him here. To be ace. Good block. That's good that four, we force that touch. No one's up for it though in mid for our team. That's two. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take this and try to make a play. Oh, he went for it early, but thank think she would have pop this forward. Once again, it just took way too long to go for it. I'm dead. I think that's the second one, the second demo that, oh my goodness, <laughs> the second demo that guy's gone for on me directly. Not a good touch, just you just need to flip into that to make sure it rolls up the wall. It's never going to be a good play if it pops in a mid like that. As you can see, he had, to, he had to force defense into his own situation. This is very difficult to work around. And these are, this is like exhibit A of why threes is kind of... Yeah, it's it's something. Say it doesn't force a fifty. Force a touch. Oh, oh, it's open. He left it. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. I can't believe he just left that ball. He could have shot that. I almost scored that, by the way, the angle, but we got it off the side. Hit that! Hit both posts. What a game! It's a roller coaster of emotions. I'm gonna go back right here. I still believe in the comeback. It's been a bit crazy. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> go go go! Oh, okay. I'll just flick it up high. Whole team is going forward. I'm scared. Be an early challenge. I have some space here to do something. Let him go for it. I would have just gotten outplayed. Ground one is going to be them though. Good 50 50. Maybe a chip. Please pass it mid. Off backboard. It's my open. Open. My whole team's dead. <laughs> I'm gonna cash this. Only 10 seconds though. Is that this? It's the same guy who went for all those demos. Up? It's up? Ace, get up there! <laughs> I think I went for demos the entire game. That was uh, interesting. Very interesting. The exclamation mark guy is, uh, was questioning. The game as well, even though he was on the winning team. What? 
what a what a match. Some threes games just don't even feel like Rocket League, and I don't know if you guys know what I mean by that. They just don't feel like the rotations. They just don't make any sense to me, and I think a lot of people feel the same way. At least from what I've heard on stream, or from my chat on stream, just the things that people go for, the the positioning, situations that come out of the game. That guy jumped up for that. I should be able to demo him though. So already I can tell the arrow guy is very, very aggressive. Oh, I saw my teammate go up for that. I'm going to let him go for this. And so is Vanish. Vanish, Vanish is very aggressive. I'll pop this out. Should be Balma's touch. Try on the bump. I'm going to demo here behind if I don't avoid it. I was going to touch it. Okay, never mind. The ones on backboard should be really tough for them. It's a good save. Just going to pop it around. Then they have to jump off the wall and clear it out. And this touch is not great. Pop it to the right for my teammate. Should go near the wall. That might be a goal. Yeah. I probably should not have went for that. I could have just waited. But I expected at least something to come out of that play in the corner. I just uh, Dismal was was a little too far for my pass. Like He looked like I was trying to give my body language to the right. And I was expecting hopefully that he would be ready for that. But... He was not. This is a... Oh, come on. Shoot that. Oh, no. Got the boost stolen from me, so I'm zero here. See my teammate going for this. Good block. Hopefully this boost spawns. I'm just going to wait on it. Why not? Nice. Around to mid. Ball needs to beat him here. Or oh, it's a goal. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those one of those days, you know. <laughs> it's a good dunk, but if you're gonna be forward like that off that play, you have to be ready for it and jump up as soon as possible and get a 50-50. So we've almost play here. Nice block. Over two. It should be a goal. Nice, good finish. That's a good 1v3 from uh, my teammate. It was Balma there. So bad 50-50 from one of the players on blue side trying to challenge him. They could have challenged him when he was before he was landing with the ball. Let him go feed the ball to me here. Give me a clear across. Good cut. Should be over them. Be off the backboard. Okay, it should be open. There we go. Yeah, I couldn't quite score it. I mean, I probably could have gotten around the ball a little more, but... That was definitely a tried and true, like, just open net off that pop from Balma. Balma's playing really well. Definitely causing a lot of the openings for our team. Got demoed or bumped. It's off. To be clear. I'll catch this. I wanted to boom it away. Okay, well, that works. Around both of them. It's going to be them. I'm just going to wait for their touch. I don't want to go in with 11 boosts. I want to make sure I'm fully boosted up. I'm going to go early here. I tried. Yeah, I probably could have waited once again. I'm just put in situations where I, I'm going to have to defend like a 2v1. Like right here, Bomb or Dismal just did not expect that touch. Awkward. It's so around one. Vanish has a touch off the backboard. Bomb is panicking in net. Be clear. Okay, I would not have went for that. As you can see, like I didn't want to go. My teammate behind me went. It's a situation where you, you're definitely going to get beat 10 times out of 10. So it's better to wait. It's a cross. Midas is backwards. Get their boost. As long as get the boost, it should be good. Oh, my bad. Ah, uh, you got beat anyway. Give the right. Midas has an early touch. We have wall clear. He still has it. Off backboard. Vanish has it. Unfortunate. Yes, yeah, it's just the way it goes in threes. I mean, I just feel like I cannot get involved, especially when there's duo cues. They they seem to always like just work around themselves. I think Dismal and Balma were together, but we div down after that game. So that, this is why I don't play threes, but we'll do one more. Hopefully uh, we get a dub in the last one. I definitely think that Rocket League is in desperate need for a hard reset because there's been a lot of boosted accounts a lot of um just inflated accounts and it definitely just feels a little bit stale 
the round two. I'm gonna pop this middle. I mean, I don't really have a good touch. It's gonna pop way too high too. Probably a beat. All right, I got some space. He's up, I think. I wasn't really sure. But yeah, it's definitely just not feeling like the good old standard threes rocket league it used to be. Big miss. That's a good play. Yeah, I tried to read the high touch off the pass down. Wait till it wants it. If he vanishes. 50-50. Block again. Should be my teammate who's in Narnia. Get the boost from him. It's our last player. I'm gonna bump Tartan back here. So it's just the one. Over Vince as well. Should be a shot. Nice finish. <laughs> Weird situation. I tried to bump the one player so that way it was a better chance of getting a goal. And it definitely worked because Tartan wasn't able to get back until the goal happened. So definitely put myself in a position to help the team. I didn't really do much as far as like scoring the goal, but you know, it worked out. Should be my teammate's ball here. Top corner. I can't quite finish it though. If Midas can pop it off the wall, he does. Let's loop all the way back out, get the back corner boost. Should be a finish. Nice. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so we have the read on the uh, the backboard. Just gotta, I gotta follow that up fast, unless uh, unless um I don't have any boost. But I had like 12 or 15, so I knew I could go for it. And Vince would have jumped if I didn't follow it up super fast. So I jumped off the backboard as soon as possible. I couldn't get the quite quite the uh, follow up that I wanted with the touch. I went too low on the scoop. Good catch from Vanish. It's a bit of a teammate lottery too. Like some people just vibe with you, some people don't. Like these two are definitely easier to play with than the other games we played because they have uh, like good position, good positions on the field, and like good good body language, so I can tell when they're going to go for a ball too. Decent try on the shot. It's okay if it goes back. And Vince, I mean, uh, Vanish did go for it early. She could have left it to go back on our side, but either way, it's not a dangerous situation. It's going to pop up. Over one. Vanish went up for it as well. Off the sidewall. I'm kind of uh, in a bad situation, though. This could be a shot. Yeah, she's in. I think it was. Who was that? Yeah, Midas flipped to the corner. Oh, flipped forward and then decided not to go, but. The flip forward kind of killed him. Because if he doesn't flip forward there and he kind of just coasts for boost pads, he would have been ready for that. Like a demo or something. Good clear. Might have should be up forward for this. We Tartan's clear. Vince on the side here. Nice. Oh, is that a shot? Is that in? Never mind. Nice little block. Can't quite follow it though. Hit the boost. My teammate should be able to drive in here. Midas is ready. We could try getting over two. I'm going to go early for this. Round one. Nice clear. One more. Ooh. Not quite what he wanted. Should be follow for my teammate. I like that Midas waited for me on that one because I'm going to be clearing off the wall for a quick play. That just might be top left. We could save though. See what they do with this. I'm gonna go for a bump. Oh no, that's all. It's my teammate as well. It's close. Okay, mid boost or is gonna be stolen. I'm gonna get the back right. To be minus this play here. So Vince is probably gonna turn. My first clear. It's over my head. 51 boost. It's a good double. Vanish has some space. And it might be up in time. No, it's not gonna be. I'll go back right here. Overtime for the last game. We'll see if we can catch a dub. Good touch. It's going to be past middle, maybe. If not, it's going to be a free catch on the backboard. I'm just going to wait. 
stay with this. I have no boost, unfortunately. I wanted to get that, that corner boost. Or mid boost. I'll just back off instead. Good block from Vanish. I believe in our team in this one. Be minus mid, maybe? Okay, a little bit too high. Do we turn from Vanish? I'm gonna go for this. Oh, my bad. I could have waited, but thought he would have left it for me to pop it forward onto the net. That's fine. I'm backwards. I can wait. Mid pass. Over. Nobody's there. That's really bad. Oh, man. Pass it up to Midas. It forces them into an early clear, which should give Vanish some uh, some space in the field. Go for the mid boost here. Pull this behind Tartan. That way he can't go for an immediate clear. It should be a, a clear from Midas. I'm going to pass this over to Midas. Go for a demo on one at the back. So far, so good. Let Vince go for a touch here. He's actually going to fake it. He's panicking. Do my teammates go for this? One of them should be going for this. To pop over. Alfinia might not make a t good touch here. And Tartan's got to make some sort of controlling touch, which he gives it right to Midas. And then right in the mid for me. Take a slammer bottom left. Oh, he's ready for it. Go for it. It's a good touch with the backboard. It's okay if he bumps me there. It's no big deal. It's fine. My teammate should be there first. Pop around one. Should be my to touch. Try and bump Tartan here if I can. Close. I like the pressure we have. It's not the best touch from Vanish, but big throw away. Go for a clear here, or a block, so that way they can't get a pass down the field or something. So they end up just booming it down the field, which is perfect. Big miss as well. Should be okay. Looks like Tartan might make a touch. Big booming clear. Big miss from Alfinia. And there's the finish. So big misses off the backboard. I mean, it's just <laughs> just a perfect three-minute overtime. I mean, I, I, that was a pretty good set of games. Once again, I just don't see the value of threes if you're trying to go pro. I definitely think the, the best direction you want to go is six-mans. Um, even 2v2 is highly regarded right now because it's like definitely a higher showcase of individual skill and positioning and stuff. Um, as far as threes go, if you want to learn how to like play around people, I would just say be a little more defensive minded. That's definitely like the way that I go. You know, it's a, my approach is definitely a little more timid uh, as far as ranked goes, but it definitely is a valuable way to understand like where the risks are in the game. As you can see, I made some mistakes as, as last man, but I was put in some pretty tough situations. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I haven't done one of these solo commentaries in a while, and I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, hopefully doing some more of these in the future. I definitely want to get SSL in this and then probably never touch it again until the next season. I always do that. But until next time, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.